My name is Mala Gedia. I am an Australian born Indian and I live in Berlin. Um, very global, which is sort of what the world is at the moment. Um, I come from a country, uh, a family of um, migrants. So, you know, they migrated from India to East Africa, from East Africa to the UK, and then from the UK to Australia. So I think migration is in my blood and it's something that I'm very passionate about. Um, and in the summer of 2015, there was a great influx of refugees and migrants coming into Berlin. And there was this utopian feel that summer where people were opening their homes, opening their arms and their hearts to, to these newcomers. And I got swept up in this fever. Uh, friends of mine um, we, and, and myself, we, we had this platform that was called the Welcomes Cafe. And it was basically a place where newcomers could come and meet Berliners like myself and my friends, and we could just sit around and have coffee. We couldn't help them with any of the bureaucracy or their paperwork or their asylum, but we could help them find the best coffee in town or how to open a library card or where the best playground is to take your children. So these were the, the personal connections that we could make, and that was our way of integrating these people because when I first came to Berlin, I, I know what it's like to not be able to speak the language, um, have no friends, and, and not know your way around. So I, I could empathize with how they felt, and I hadn't come from a war-torn or a conflict zone. So through this platform, the Welcomes Cafe, these people became my friends, my dear, dear friends, and I got to know their stories. And what I saw on the news came to my front door, and I, I was inspired by these very, very human stories. And as a filmmaker, I thought, what can I do to, to help? And I thought, well, as a filmmaker, I can tell their stories, and I can, I can give them a voice. So that's how No Monsters in Berlin was born. Um, my creative partner, Kate Holland, who's the director, she and I co-wrote the story together. And as soon as we started pre-production for the film, we quickly realized that we wanted to make this as authentic as possible. And so instead of telling a story about refugees, we wanted to tell the story with them. So I called up all my new friends <laughs> and said, I know you're not actors, but would you mind being in my film? And the amount of enthusiasm and love and <laughs> just yes that they said was um, enough to get this film off the ground. So, so basically, did the, the, the actors come from the Welcome Coffee? Yes, most of them, yes. Oh, that's amazing. The first piece of advice would be to learn the language of your host country because it enables you as a person. It opens doors. It gives you a sense of independence. So I didn't speak German when I first came to Berlin, and I dedicated a year of my time learning the language and it's not a, it's not an easy language to learn but if you know the government is providing free classes or or subsidized classes for newcomers and people should really take advantage of that because that will open so many more opportunities for them and make their their transition into this society smoother get to know these people on a on a personal level don't don't look at them and, and feel afraid. I think personal connections leads to compassion. Compassion leads to integration. Once you welcome refugees and immigrants and um, get to know them on a personal level, I think, in my opinion, my humble opinion, that this is the perfect, perfect uh, response to terrorism. So um, 
my, my advice would be just open your minds and open your hearts.